Question one. Hi Duo, let me say that it is a real honor to do this interview with an iconic artist like yourself. And the best compliment is that it seems that time doesn't pass by as woman, as an artist. What's your secret? Oh, that's so easy to say. My secret, it's the fans. I love the fans and I love music. And to me, it's a great honor to, to do this. And it was always my dream. So I'm definitely living my dream. And that keeps me always young and inspired and motivated. And yeah, the love to the fans and to the music. That's, that's the real secret. Question two. Let's start for the beginning. What leaves you to decide to release a best of album? Yeah, actually, we had many, many uh, plans to tour this year, many festivals, uh, two European tours, two America tours, South America, Australia. And then in March, that was my last concert, actually, with Saxon. It was a festival. And yeah, and then everything got either canceled or postponed. So I went back into the studio, writing new songs for a new album. And then I thought, okay, I want to do a best of album. And I, I thought at first, yeah, I want to put my favorite maybe 15 or 20 songs on and then I started to um, to go through my archives and I listened to so many songs and pre-production demos and songs I haven't listened to in a long time and live uh, concerts and then I thought yeah I want to I want to do a best of record and I started with 15 songs and then it was 20 then 25 then 35 then 45 and now it's 56 songs and they are my favorites and it's still I think it's volume one because there are more songs which I love but yeah but these ones are the first 56 songs and there are different versions many live versions uh, we re-recorded many things and there are many deep cuts like um, yeah previously not released songs and um, yeah like um, yeah Well, for example, versions I love so much, Prisoner of Love or Grab the Bull, uh, Last Man Standing. Yeah, that was like the first versions of these songs and I think they're great. And yeah, so, so many things which the fans didn't hear yet. The record is called Magic Diamonds and is indeed a magic moment for all your fans. How did you make the selection of the songs? Yeah, I just went by by feeling like I my favorite songs and um, and then I asked the fans which songs they would love to hear and there were some cool choices for example the fortune teller or even angels cry or whenever I think of you so I was uh, looking through my archives and then I found like great versions of them and everything is uh, remixed definitely remastered and some songs we started to record uh, from scratch for example beyond the trees and um, yeah and I chose like the ones which I thought wow had you know the most magic and the most power that's the reason why it's called best of rock best of ballads and rare treasures These songs are really, yeah, the, the real, real treasures which were either unreleased or great life moments. And, yeah. and my favorite cover songs, for example, Egypt by Ronnie James Dio or uh, Nothing Else Matters. And I thought, yeah, you know, that would be nice to have them on, on an album because I did them before for tribute records, but not all the fans know these songs. So... Yeah, and there are um, my favorite duets on there as well. For example, "Love Me Forever" would let me kill Mister and um, "Breaking the Law," which is a duet with um, Udo Dirk Schneider, or the song "Descent," a duet with uh, Pete Steele, and uh, "Walking with the Angels," a duet with Taya Turunen, and "Bad Blood." That's um, a nice song of our Angels Never Die album and it's a live version with Blaze Bailey who sang for Iron Maiden uh, a few years ago and we are great friends so yeah 
Did you include any alternative versions that are different from the ones that the majority of the fans already know? Yes, yes. Uh, like I said before, there are many, many different versions, many live versions, and that's what I want to give the fans, especially this year where it's impossible to really go on tour. And yeah, so I picked like nice live highlights. And, um, and one highlight uh, was uh, this year in 2020, we did a couple of uh, drive-in shows, like auto kino shows, drive-in cinema shows, which was actually pretty cool. I had a lot of fun doing it. Um, it's totally different, but it was great. And for example, one version of my favorite song, Love Me in Black, was recorded in 2020 while we did an auto kino show, a drive-in show. And I think yeah, it was a magical moment as well. But yeah, most of the songs, they have different versions. And um, yeah. Why did you release the record on your own label? Yeah, I formed my own label because I got many records. Uh, I got the rights to many records back uh, when I was in SPV and AFM between the year, um, I think, 2000 and 2010. So I got uh, records um, back like Classic Diamonds, uh, Calling the Wild, Fear No Evil, um, under my skin, all, uh, you know, kinds of DVDs. And I thought, oh, this would be a shame if if people can't get these records or DVD anymore. So I formed my own label to put out stuff which you couldn't get anymore. And I can put out like special stuff on the side, um, like this Magic Diamonds Best of Album. And I'm still working on a new album, which will probably be on Nuclear Blast. But stuff what I can do for the diehard fans and, you know, um, that's on my own label, yeah. With this release, you offer your fans more than a collection of songs. You offer also a little of yourself. Don't you agree? Yes, every song is always, a, it's, it's either a piece of my heart, of my soul. Um, yeah, it's something what is important to me. Yes, every song, every record. And there's, there's not one song where I, you know, where I'm not like, you know, 100%, you know, behind it or feel like, you know, it's it's important to sing about. And yeah, it's all, yeah, it comes, you yeah, know, right deep out of my heart. Every song, like fast or ballad or anthem. And yeah, and I, you know, I, I love music. So I, I can express myself through music the best. And yeah, and I feel the fans, they... They feel the same then when I get excited about a song or about an idea and I, I feel when I feel totally 100% about it, then there's a good chance that the fans are feeling the same and that they will fall in love with that song or with the record as well. Shall we make a break?